Welcome back, Tarot Fans. This is Atcher Fan Morgan, and this is your Tarot Pick a Card reading, a message from a spirit, a message from your spirit guides. And we are on reading number two, and we've already drawn the Knight of Emotions in reverse, indicating a blockage in your emotions, um, an inability to move forward due to some sort of emotional need for some emotional healing. Which is not taking place because you are keeping busy, keeping active, and sort of refusing to process and refusing to get the recovery that you need. The Nine of Cups indicates that um, your wishes are in hopes and dreams are all on the other side of this healing. And then we also have the Ace of Wands, which indicate very bright new beginnings. And the Prince of Swords. Okay, Prince of Swords. Some information. Perhaps a message or a letter of some sort. The Hermit. Hmm. So the Prince of Swords, we definitely have information coming to you or from you. Some sort of communication or message. Again, we have the Hermit card and the Ace of Cups in reverse. Then we have the Eight of Swords in reverse. You've got to have the Eight of Swords. Reversed is a little better. And then we have the Chariot in reverse. So again, we've got this stoppage of energy and this... Um, Sort of desire to not deal with these emotions that need to be healed. Um, so this again is telling me that you're not you're not facing things, you're not dealing with them. Um, but the problem is that your avoidance and your All of your sort of defense mechanisms of avoidance are really actually going to backfire. They're not going to be helpful to you. So you really need to... I think that hearing this message that you maybe are going to recognize this tendency in yourself and see what you need to do to move forward. Um, you just needed that little wake-up call, that little, little call-out reminder. And with the Ace of Cups, or yes, with the Ace of Cups in reverse, to me this is definitely telling you that you are going to need a pour out of emotions. You're going to have to find the safe space for you where you can feel safe to let those emotions all out. Let them flow. Let the tears flow if necessary. Look, everything is stopped up behind this healing that needs to take place. And I really think that what the Hermit card is telling you is just simple, that you need some time alone. Stop running, stop surrounding yourself by people and busyness in order to avoid doing this healing. You need to get with yourself, and you need to get good with yourself. So, examine your personal interactions. Are you using them to numb yourself or to avoid looking at the the healing that you need to do live in the moment like that beautiful meditation exactly time to get in touch with the hermit time to get in touch with yourself examine your personal interactions also may okay felt like i might be getting a message um may um I knew exactly what I was going to say a second ago. Oh, okay. Well, so your healing may have to do with uh, personal interactions with others as well. So that might be a part of the reason for that message. Woot, woot. Hmm. Okay. And leaping in love. Okay, interesting because, I mean, this is a very leaping kind of image. And hotline. Um, the hotline bling. 
Alright, so, um, yes, some sort of communication, um, maybe that you'll be getting some really exciting news here, um, once you've maybe worked through whatever it is that you need to work through, um, but there's definitely a message coming through for you. That is going to be exciting and possibly um, dealing with love. Hmm, very interesting. Examine your personal interactions. Determine whether you are someone who's always going to give to others, but who feels unnoticed and unappreciated. If this applies to you, it may be because you have a private agenda to seek love that's built into your motivation to be of service. Your goal, to examine whether your interactions with others leave you empowered or disempowered. Hmm. That sounds like a very good idea. Um, live in the moment. Today's lesson. In this day, strive to live in the moment. I wish I knew, like, how much time was passing rather than... Oh, yes. Okay. Uh... Only speak about positive things in your life and avoid bringing up the past, especially negative memories or situations. Weird. Your goal, to experience how difficult it is to live in the present. Healing is rapidly enhancing when you're focused on the now. This is so confusing to me because it says, Only speak about positive things and avoid bringing up the past, especially negative memories or situations. But I really really feel like you're being called to address whatever sort of negative emotions that you've been avoiding. However, I feel like the back of the message card doesn't fit, but the front of the message card. Just the simple live in the moment. I'm going to have to say live in the moment. Um down and do some meditation and get in touch with um, this healing that needs to be done. And the way to do that generally is to bring awareness to your pain and just sit with it. And as it does say, it's okay to um, experience how difficult it is to live in the present. So hold, hold that pain in the present and just bring your, sorry for the end, bring your awareness to it so that you can get through this healing because there is a message coming right down the line. And, but you you aren't going to be open to hearing it. You're not going to be receptive unless you get this healing done. But I see so much happiness in the things that you really, really want right on the other side of that particular assignment so all right for those who chose pal number three oh shaky shaky okay i need that i want to see the number all right we're at 837 is that right pal number three was the little purple stone of uncertain origin okay little purple sparkly stone now, thank you. Welcome, Pal 3. Um, I forgot to mention to Pal 2. Like, share, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up because it's the easiest way to show support for my channel. And um, let me know in the comments below how this uh, reading resonates for you. So, say it. right now we're going to read about what is your message from spirit. Message from your spirit guide. Seven of voices. Seven of voices. In reverse. But yeah, it's one of those amazing, beautiful cards that looks so beautiful in reverse. Seven of Voices. Which would be the Seven of Swords, I believe. Seven of Voices. Let's see what the other cards have to bring. The Strength in Reverse. Temperance. Whoa. Interesting. Yeah, this just feels like a strong message. Oh, and then 
we have the Empress. Okay. Spirit is talking to you, man. Uh, Princess of Wands. And she's got some... Ooh, she's got some spark to her, doesn't she? Wow. Strength in Reverse for the second time. Right underneath Strength in Reverse for the first time. Five of Wands, upright. So, there's some conflict. There's definitely a need for strength. The Hanged Man in Reverse. Hanged Man sometimes often talks about a change in perspective. And sometimes the Hanged Man talks about pausing, talks about waiting, um, talks about inactivity. I do see a real sense of um, quiet and still strength. So with Temperance and two strength cards, and then the Empress especially, um, I'm seeing like a strength, maybe a strength in waiting. Um, a strength in... Man, the word really flew out of my head. Um... A strength in allowing yourself to remain in suspension without answers, without solutions right now, um, but just with strength. Um, just there's conflict and, you know, spirit is advising you to avoid the conflict, to stay out of the conflict, to practice temperance and you know, be, be regal and be strong, um, without, be secure in your strength, um, enough that you don't need to prove yourself in this battle because it's just a petty, no win kind of fight that's, that's going on. So, um, Yeah, you can prove your strength by staying out of unnecessary fights, not by, not by winning them, jumping in and proving that you're the big bad hero, because um, it's not worth it. You're not fighting over anything of value. There's no hero. Um, there's no hero. Uh, the temperance just speaks to me of this real quiet, balanced strength. And the beautiful Empress. Amazing things can come out of um, out of this advice to stay out of the fray and um, hang. <laughs> Strength and hanging. Identify your health related fears is a message. And let go of resentment. That's really interesting. In light of the sort of petty squabble thing. I think that is going to be really important for you. And then follow your dreams. Hmm, interesting. Follow your dreams. Point out one special dream or ambition that you're facilitating about or postponed. What has motivated you to put positive actions on hold? To determine whether your excuse is real or not, identify the real reasons you delayed you can do something about it. Okay. Interesting. Because we do have this... Alright. This sort of delay here. But I think this... Um, maybe this delay card... Sorry, just came into my head. Uh, this delay card could be speaking of... Um, Maybe ways to get out of the delay. So a story just came into my head of a person sitting at the um, dinner table with family and they have a goal that they want to pursue and they're not being supported and they're being discouraged and um, this message is for them to um, Not give in to that discouragement, uh, but instead to uh, not use the 
the discouragement as an excuse and look at some of the reasons why your why your dream has been delayed or deferred and what you can do about it um don't let their um negativity be a discouragement just let it kind of uh guide you forward um use it to sort of propel you letting go of resentment don't don't bother being resentful that they're not supporting you either don't just um you know they're probably looking out for what they think is your best interest um don't let the resentment get to them just let go of the resentment and look at the practical things that are blocking your path um, don't get into any sort of unnecessary squabble about this and I'll do, identify your health related fears is sort of interesting ask yourself if you're afraid to heal this happens for a lot of people uh, let me see what your e-cards say before I run out of time abracadabra wrecking ball boom baby the F word. Oh, yeah, I'm getting some heated family exchanges. Magnanimous me. Boom, baby. Look, everyone's not going to agree. Everyone's not going to love your plan. Everyone's not going to support your dream. It's okay. Let go of the resentment and make a concrete plan to move forward and have be ready to do what uh, will help you move forward once the um, blockage has stopped. Once it, once it's time to move forward, be ready to move forward. Thank you, tarot friends. Uh, this has uh, been another reading by Ultraviolet Morgan. Be well. And be sure to share, like, subscribe, and comment down below if you resonated with your reading. A message from Spirit Guides.